I can think of no place better to have suspense and a real eerie feeling of decadence than a lesbian bar. Because lesbians are outlaws. We've always been outlaws, and I hope we always stay outlaws. And lesbian bars are our secret hiding places. A lesbian bar is not the same as any other kind of bar. When a woman goes into a lesbian bar who's never been in one, and this is how she is going about coming out, she is never the same again. She goes in there, and her point of view about women and men, about the nature of love and relationships, about what, uh, what the social expectations of her are, are, is completely changed. You have to have some place to go and, and meet people to even start whatever you're gonna start when you're gay. I mean, it's hard enough out there as it is, and coming to a place where it's so warm and so wonderful, you know, it's not that way everywhere. I was fresh out of Kansas um, from the Midwest, and I had never seen a gay bar. I'd never seen a bar, uh, and Kansas is a dry state, so to, to come into Mods was like a double whammy for me because it was a bar and it was a gay bar. Um, I was about 23 years old, something like that, very green. Um, and the first thing they did was they carded me, they asked for my identification, and all I had was a Kansas driver's license, which doesn't have a picture on it, so um, they refused to serve me. And that was it, I fell in love. I, I thought, this is, this is my kind of place. I had this feeling that people were drawn to this bar that were meant to meet in this life. 